Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. A world-famous soccer player Ronaldo Nazario has been baptized into the Catholic Church. The world-famous former soccer, or football, player and current president of Real Valladolid, soccer club, Ronaldo Nazario, revealed on his social networks that he was baptized into the Catholic Church at the age of 46. He is one of the world's greatest soccer players and is from Brazil. To his over 29 million Instagram fans Ronaldo wrote, Today is a very special day. I was baptized. The Christian faith has always been a fundamental part of my life since childhood, even though I had not yet been baptized. With the sacrament, I feel truly regenerated as a child of God, in a new, more conscious, deeper way. I renew my commitment to follow the path of good, of my own free will, believing in the love of Jesus, in supportive love. Thank you very much, Fabio de Mello, São José Church, Father Dom Oswaldo and my dear godparents Amilcar and Malu. Lightning has destroyed a famous large statue of Christ the Fisher in Mexico. A 33-meter high sculpture located in La Concordia, Chiapas went up in flames after the lightning hit. According to witnesses, suddenly, lightning struck the Christ the Fisher statue, triggering a fire that spread throughout the structure. It was built of fiberglass, a highly flammable material that contributed to the rapid spread of fire. The sculpture was created by the Peruvian artist Pedro Victor Tsuya Ramos and was erected on El Raspado Hill at an altitude of 200 meters. It held the title of being the fourth largest of its kind worldwide. In December 2020, a lighting system with solar panels was inaugurated, both for the interior and exterior of the sculpture, with an initial schedule that guaranteed six hours of daily lighting from dusk. A Catholic priest in India has taken his own life. Father Anil Francis, age 40, was found hanging from a tree. In a note, the Diocese of Sagar, not speculating on the motive and offering full cooperation in the investigation, said that he had been denounced for a post on social networks against violence in Manipur. Asia News reported that was the director of a Catholic school in an Indian state at the center of intimidation against Christians by Hindu fundamentalists for months. The priest was only 40 years old and the head of St. Alphonsa Academy, a primary school in the village of Gudkota. He was found hanging from a tree on the outskirts of Sagar where he had gone the evening before for the monthly meeting of clergy. Spokesperson, Father Sabu Puthan Pirakal, confirmed, the police, reads the statement, are investigating the case and the diocese is cooperating fully. Father Puthan Pirakal also adds that, Father Anil Francis was under tension and pressure due to a complaint filed against him over a post he had shared on social media about violence in Manipur. The post in question was simply a protest against the lack of measures by the Indian government to stop the clashes which have continued for months in the northeastern region and often see the local Christian minority as victims. The image referred to the two women from Manipur who ended up at the center of a video that went viral in India. In the context of Madhya Pradesh, where the pressure from fundamentalists against Christians has been particularly harsh in recent times, someone felt the need to file a complaint against the priest. Furthermore, there are also rumors of threats that he received as head of the school. In Madhya Pradesh itself, Catholic schools are the object of a harsh intimidation campaign, which has even seen a threat of arrest for one of its bishops, Monsignor Gerald Almeida, of the Diocese of Jabalpur. We are extremely saddened by the death of Father Anil Francis, who was known for his commitment to the works that had been entrusted to him and for his dedication to the values he preached, concludes the note from Father Puthan Pirakal. We share the pain of father's family. Anil Francis and we extend our deepest condolences to them on this occasion. We pray to the Almighty to give them the strength to overcome this heartbreaking moment they are experiencing. On September 8, Pope Francis met privately with Sylvester Stallone and his family at the Vatican. Stallone is the famous actor of the memorable Rocky films. Stallone thanked the Pope for taking the time he took to see him. The Pope responded enthusiastically. We grew up with your film. The Pope was referring to the films of Rocky. 
Sylvester Stallone's brother, Frank, wife Jennifer, holding rosaries for a blessing, and three daughters, Sophia, Scarlett and Sistine were also present. The Pope gave his blessing to each of them. Stallone grew up in the Catholic faith. He was visiting Italy with his brother to receive honorary citizenship in a southern city where his grandfather and father grew up before immigrating to the United States. Watch our program every Friday at 7:30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.